Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com. Jazzham.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you want to know the price of the watch, just simply click on the links in the description below. If you enjoy, if you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you'd buy a watch from jazzham.com once in a while. Alright, so today we're going to be reviewing the Rolex Day Date President. This is the model number 228. 238. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Alright, so jumping right into the dial, the dial configuration we currently have here for this uh, specific day date is the champagne dial. You can see it has the sunburst feature. Absolutely looks gorgeous as I tilt it against the light in different directions here. You can see how it kind of shifts that light source uh, across that sort of that sunburst gradient while also being juxtaposed by a very nice dark contrast as well so it's not too overwhelming and has a beautiful contrast between each other the hands are made out of 18 karat uh, 18 karat yellow gold same with, can be said about the second hand so the hour minute and second hand are in fact all 18 karat yellow gold and i do apologize about the darkness of the hands as you see here it actually is is the solid 18 karat yellow gold is just sort of the reflection from the black from my camera so it is a nice beautiful gold coloring as, as you can tell, kind of see if I tilt it against a different light source here but moving on so champagne dial 18 karat yellow gold hands the hour markers are the hour markers are baguette diamonds as you can see rectangular diamond rectangular diamond hour markers with the six and nine o'clock position baguettes being a little bit larger, and this is specifically for landmarking purposes, uh, to be able to differentiate a quick time telling, such as the uh, the date and the uh, date and the day at the uh, date at the twelve o'clock position, day at the three o'clock position, and you'll be able to easily tell the six o'clock position and the nine o'clock position with the larger baguette diamonds. The diamonds themselves are fashioned in an eighteen karat yellow gold fashioning as well to prevent any tarnishing. The Crystal that sits on top of the dial is this nice beautiful sapphire crystal nice uh, Nice and clean across with a cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification of a one and a half magnification For easier viewing of the date uh, of the day Or rather the date and at the day The day takes up the whole 12 o'clock position going from the 11 to 1 o'clock position You can see it takes up that whole window there with the Rolex crown logo underneath that and then the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Date name underneath that as well. So very simple dial, but very, very elegant. The champagne, the champagne really works very nicely with the additional just being full gold, very looking very, very luxurious uh, in, in total with the sparkling of the diamonds as well. As we move on to the bezel now, the bezel is just a simple 18 karat yellow gold fluted bezel, but it sort of, sort of has the same feature as the, as the sunburst, the sunburst feature of the dial. You can see that as I sort of move the watch around, you can see that different differentiating of contrast of darker shade, darker shades uh, versus the lighter shades, and that contrast is really, really crucial, really, really key from keeping keeping a nice sort of mes mesmerizing color gradient rather than just having one singular just bright champagne dial, really one really bright yellow gold coloring on the bezel. It really sort of keeps your eye keeps your eye always checking for a little differentiating of details so frames that frames that dial very nicely as we move on to the case now the case is nice and high polished at the lugs top lugs and on the bottom lugs of the case high polished because this is a dress watch um, of course you could probably tell this is a dress watch as it's just a full 18 karat yellow gold watch the case size of this watch, we're looking at a 40 millimeter case size. So from my index finger to my thumb here, that's 40 millimeters in diameter. The side profile of the watch, you can see not too high of a profile, but nice, beautiful high polish as well, matching with the high polish on the on the bracelet around as well. On the other side, we have where the crown is located with that same high polish patterning on the side of the case to the sides of the bracelet as well. As we move on to the crown functions, one thing I do want to mention is, is for a close-up of the crown, you can see two little dots beneath the crown logo, and it's just a very small minor detail, but this lets you know that the crown itself is a twin-lock double waterproofness system, whereas some sports piece have three three dots to indicate 
a trip lock waterproofness system. So this is a twin lock waterproofness system that keeps a water resistance of 100 meters to 330 feet. It's opened up by going, opening it up counterclockwise as shown. In the standard position for the watch, you just wind it counterclockwise. About 15 to 20 winds is all you need, or rather wind it clockwise, and 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started once more from a dead stop. Pulling the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the day at the 12 o'clock position very simply, very easily by going the counterclockwise, and then going clockwise will allow you to adjust the, the date itself. So as you can see, very easy, very simple to do. You can see how easy it is if I just continuously go back and forth. Very smooth functioning of both features. Pulling the crown out to the final position, keep your eye on the second hand as that will stop just right below the two o'clock position. And that's to allow for precise uh, for precise time settings such as to an atomic clock online. You can set down to the exact seconds. We'll also be able to adjust the hands bi-directionally as shown. Once you're done, just push the crown back in. We'll start that second hand once more. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case, because you want to keep that water resistance of the 100 meters and 330 feet. And you obviously, you want to protect the crown. You don't want it to bump it, bump it while it's stuck outwards. Moving on to the bracelet now. This is one of the biggest features of the president, uh, the DDA president. President stands for the President Bracelet. You can see very beautiful semi-circular semi -circular links in a three-piece link fashion. So you have the outer of the three-piece links nicely sand finished or brush polished. And the center of the links being a nice high polish straight down the center. Of course, of course, the again, I'm just going to say it again. It's just a very beautiful contrast. There's so much contrast on this watch. So always keep your eye eyes interested in looking at this piece rather than staring at a flat coloring the nice shine that pops every once in a while uh, sort of muted a little bit by the brush polish the brush polish really helps it keep it in check so you can see very nice tapering from the first lugs downwards uh, first links downwards rather so tapering downwards towards the back for a nice even proportional view all the way back to the back of the bracelet where it sort of keeps a even uh, even size, even size links towards the back. And for the clasp, which is located here by the Rolex crown logo, you just simply pull that crown back, and there we are. Open up is the clasp with the two high polish clasp blades, the Rolex name embossed on there on that nice, beautiful high polish. So this is how the watch looks opened up. And then closing it up, of course, we have a beer very easy, uh, very nice curvature of the back of the clasp, obviously to fit underneath your wrist very comfortably. Moving on to the movement now, the movement is housed in this simple oyster case backing, very beautiful high polish around the very outer edge of that of the case back ceiling, and also the high polish on sort of the little bit of domed raised part into a sand finish here. Sand finish, of course, to be on the back of on the back of your back of your hand, so you don't leave too many prints on the back of the case there when you take it off. But the movement for this watch is a um, in-house made movement by Rolex. is a perpetual mechanical self winding movement. This is the caliber thirty two fifty five movement. As a precision of minus two plus two seconds a day, uh, meaning that it is within Swiss specs. And they like to Rolex has boast about it here at the six o'clock position. You can see the superlative chronometer officially certified there. The functions of the movement, of course, is for the hour, minute, and seconds hand with the uh, day and the date, the day and the date adjustment, and also the stopping of the seconds hand for precise time setting. The os the oscillator is a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring, which allows additional resistance against magnetism and Rolex actually has changed to their own in-house made shock absorbers uh, called the Paraflex shock absorbers which they claim is it absorbs 50 more 50 percent more shocks than the industry standard I would believe this is the KIF shock absorbers the one thing that they've done on an update of this movement on the 3255 from the previous one I believe was the 3155 um, was that the powers have got updated to a 70 hour power reserve and that's be that's due to some uh, that's actually due to because the Chronogy escapement was added. They changed the escapement. So the Chronogy escapement is an in-house made escapement by Rolex. It's a uh, skeletonized escapement wheel that's made out of a nickel phosphorus. The skeletonization helps with the reduction of inertia, so it helps keep that precise time setting. And the nickel phosphorus uh, helps with the paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring uh, to have additional resistance against magnetism for the watch. 
So as I mentioned, the power reserve is 70 hours, meaning that you could put this watch out on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. Now let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now. So we're gonna go ahead and locate that folding crown clasp. Slide that on. There we are. I do have an average man size wrist, which is a seven inch wrist. You can see still has a little bit of wiggle room there. Most Rolex watches are uh, set for a seven and a half inch wrist at most. Uh, specifically because this is a president style bracelet, there is no additional adjustment for it. So this is the size you'll be seeing when if you were to buy it. Uh, by a brand new you see very beautiful high polish it's not that notice it's not too noticeable you can tell the difference between the high polish and the sand finish but when you do notice it you do sort of sort of does catch your eye along with the other high polishes used on the bezel the the bezel the dial you can see that sort of glisten all throughout and it looks absolutely gorgeous so if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price check out our website at jazzhem.com we have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer you a one-year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video. Click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.